Are you excited for your party with all your friends? And icy. It is icy today. Yes, fine. Thank you. Taking this one to her preschool Christmas party. I buy something white. White? Car? No. No? The okay. The clouds. Oh, the clouds. Yes, sorry. Oh my goodness. There's so many little red robins around. Robins are my absolute favourite. The time has come to wrap some Christmas presents. The part of Vlogmas so many of you have been waiting for. I've got everything I need. Presents, wrapping stuff. Got some more presents and more wrapping things down here. I'm looking ever so festive in my red jumper with my Christmas tree behind me. It was so sweet dropping Delilah off at preschool. They had a DJ and everything playing Christmas songs. Something doesn't feel quite right here. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. It doesn't feel right sitting down having a chat without a coffee in my hand. This year, Doug's sister had a great idea to do a secret Santa, secret Santa, because we all know who's buying for who. But we decided that we'd all buy one present for each person rather than buying for everyone. So we put our names in a hat and I have Doug's little brother Alistair. So I've got his present here. And then the only other presents that I've bought are my mum, grandma, Doug's, and then obviously Delilah. So there's not a huge amount of presents this year to wrap. I mean, there never usually is, but there's even less than usual. I feel like most of you watch these wrap with me videos because it's tradition. I like to think that you either sit down with your coffee and a mince pie or coffee tea, whatever floats your boat, or you wrap along with me. And it's more of a tradition rather than loads of presents and loads of new ideas because let's face it my wrapping has been the same for uh, goodness knows how many years and the biggest part of these videos is um you guys get to see what delilah's got for christmas throwing out the warning now if you're watching this with any younger children um, i'm going to be talking about secret father christmas stuff so switch off watch later shall i just show you what i got alistair he asked for, well actually I'll show you my grandma's because it's on top. My grandma watches all my videos. I have told her not to watch this one until after Christmas Eve when we see her to give gifts. But she asked for some slippers, some shoe slippers, specifically beige or lilac. It was quite difficult to find exactly what she wanted and I found these in next and I thought cosy, neutral colour, she'll like those. And then every year I buy her a diary. Something that's not too small and not too big that fits in her bag and I found this in Waterstones um, and it's got bees on it. Alistair asked for jogging bottoms. Can't fit jogging bottoms to wear around the house so I got these from Fat Face. Actually I'm quite jealous they're really, they're really soft and um, hopefully he, he'll like these. I have Doug's present in there. I'm not going to show you what it is. Doug generally only watches the vlogs that he's in. But I just don't want to risk it getting out what his present is. Oh, DPD's here. DPD's here. Let me answer the door. This is the rest of Delilah's Christmas present, so that's handy. Shall we talk about Delilah's stocking? She's had this since her first Christmas. It's from Etsy. I can probably link it. I will, I'll say it now. I will try and link everything possible in this video that you see. We do a stocking from Father Christmas and then one or two this year it's just one big main present from us i'll start with this i found a shop on etsy that makes these beautiful crowns i went for the light pink and velvet mustard probably gonna want to wear it this way around and it just ties around her head like that and to go with this i bought her this wand from mimi and lula this is the brand that i get all of her hair accessories from and i got her the gold and dusky pink one how lovely is that one so i think she will absolutely love these picked her up a little something from lush because she despite her first couple of experiences with bath bombs when she was younger who <laughs> remembers that she had a bit of a meltdown about an equal baby bot now she is obsessed with bath bombs and she's constantly asking for what she calls a fizzy bath so i picked her up this i don't know what this one's called but i picked her up this little father christmas one and this 
wand which she saw a month or so ago and it's about six pounds and i i said to her oh no no maybe father christmas will bring it little knickknacks which i, I hate doing little knickknacks that aren't useful so they're knickknacks but they're stuff that i know she's going to enjoy so i've got her this for her musical bag hooter or something and it just makes a doing that right picked her up these ladybird dominoes from well i got them in our kit but um they're by this brand gocky and these are wooden dominoes they're good for her to um recognize numbers and um and i mean she could play with these for years picked her up this from i think i ordered it on kidley won't get the hang of it now but i think she'll still find it fun and then when she's older she can um actually try and play this but it's a a whacker it's a wooden whacker thingy and do you guys remember this game so you press these buttons and you have to try and get the hoops over those i'm definitely not gonna do that no and um it's got stars and glitter in and i think she'll just have fun pressing them something for merry merry picked her up some hair clips she doesn't need any more hair accessories but these are so lovely and whenever she wants to have her hair down um, it's useful to have clips and these are gorgeous stars and moons and i thought they were very festive and the second to last thing is an emma bridgewater mug a while ago she was getting upset about um not having a grown-up cup and uh, she wanted to drink out of our glass ones not her bamboo one it gave me the idea to get her her very own mug i went for the christmas one because i thought why not the inside is really lovely she'll be able to have a little hot chocolates and milk and things in this i don't know how small it looks on camera if i compare it to my mug you can see it's a it's perfect it's a perfect size for kids and i think she'll really appreciate that and that's something we'll have as a keepsake for years and years and the last thing is um this book which is a little bit too old for her in the sense that she's not going to open it and read it herself but she's obsessed with fairies i think she gets it from my mum there's a, a seasonal collection of these books there's summer um autumn winter and spring and i got her the winter one I'll show you inside talks all about the different fairies and genuinely i think delilah will love me reading about the fairies to her it's something different to read at bedtime and it sparks her imagination and it's a really lovely book and a nice collectible and then i can get her the other books on other occasions before i show you her main present let's wrap up these stocking presents and get those out of the way i've started organizing all my wrapping stuff into this box i still got loads to um, sort out upstairs. But I have the essentials in here. I have twine, scissors, some Christmas trees, ribbons, got some biodegradable tape and um, scotch tape. And I have my stamps, which I use to write people's names on, um, on tags. For Delilah's stocking, I'm gonna wrap in a mixture of things. I'm gonna use up this paper from oh goodness knows how long I've had this laying around. These bags, which came with um, a delivery from this shop. I like the idea of using newspaper to wrap presents, but I don't like the idea of accidentally wrapping someone's present in some horrific news story. Whereas um, I'm subscribed to the Happy News, so it's, it's as it says, it's all very positive, happy news this is from march this year um i've read it all it needs using up and because it's got such bright colorful pages i think it's perfect to wrap up little presents um for delilah stocking google play Dancing. 
dancing in Christmas style. I've popped everything in here for now. And I'll just have to empty everything um, on Christmas Eve. I can't believe it's Christmas this time next week. Got some foliage as usual. I love a bit of foliage on presents. This is eucalyptus from the garden. In here. I have a card for my mum. My mum asked for vouchers for the Royal Opera House because she loves going to see ballets. So I've ordered the voucher. I, I, I can imagine it's going to come in a nice, nice envelope. But if it doesn't, um, then I got this card instead and I just picked this up in paper chase. I was going to pop the voucher in here, put some twine or ribbon around it, um, maybe some of my nice ribbon in here. I've got some black velvet ribbon and I've got this gorgeous star ribbon. Um, I'm not really going to be able to use many of these. So I've only got three, three presents to wrap. But I was going to put some kind of ribbon on here with either some eucalyptus or I might take a sprig off this tree and have some of that on here just to make it feel special. She knows it's a voucher but it's nice to still have a gift that is presented nicely. I'm going to wrap Doug's present in this. I love how retro this wrapping paper is. Amazing colour, amazing print. Brown parcel paper is coming out as usual. Such a classic look and it looks lush with eucalyptus. Oh, one thing I'm going to do this year is probably as exciting as this wrap with me is going to get. If you watched last year's one, you would have seen that I bought some pom-pom decorations from the white company and I put them on the presents and I really liked it and again it looked really nice with the eucalyptus. This year I thought instead of buying them, I'm going to make them. I'm going to use the smallest one. Where is it? In here. Also oh, got some bells. I have some wool and I might just do what I did last year and do grey ones. You see I've been having a practice here. This branch broke on our tree when we um, put it up the other day and um, it's just been laying on the floor looking really sad so I've just snipped it off and I can use this for some foliage and decoration. <laughs> yeah, I have to be very sneaky so you don't see Doug's present. with the uh, pom-pom makers and um, with a bit of the Christmas tree. <laughs> mm -hmm. As I've done for the last few years, I'm going to make a name label with my stamp set. Through the Wrapping paper everywhere. Lights glow. The end result for Doug and my grandma's. I've just added the, so I never tie the labels on. I just uh, make a slit and then I attach them. Can you see there? I just attach them to the ribbon or the um, wool, or this is wool. Our tree is so bushy this year that there's not much room for presents under the tree. I'm going to squeeze these under here.
spend our night living in Christmas style all night living in Christmas style that's right living in Christmas style if I planned ahead I would have made the pom-pom and then tied a long enough piece of string around the pom-pom if that makes sense for it to then go around the present but I didn't think it through so I'm just gonna make the pom-pom and attach it later. I'm gonna use the slightly bigger one for the thicker wool. Right, do I remember how to make these? Take out the arms, start wrapping your wool. And you want the pom-poms to be nice and thick. I mean, this wool is quite thick anyway, so it won't take long. If I remember right, you close it, open these ones. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna have to consult to YouTube how to use pom-pom maker. Good old YouTube to the rescue. I remember what to do now. So I've made the pom-pom. There's loads of tutorials online for this. Got myself covered in ink. And I'm now just gonna go and chop around the middle. I haven't done this the most neatly, but there we go. Just need some really sharp scissors for this. This is the most satisfying part. Boop. Boop. And then, once it's looking like that, you get some more wool. There are slits down here, and you just want to pop your wool in there, nice and snug, pull it tight and then tie a knot and then just take it out and give it a little shake. Oh, I must have used the smaller one when I practiced with the pink one a while ago because this is huge. I think that looks too humongous. Right, I'm gonna make a really, <laughs> I will save this for another something else. Sleeping by half past one. I bet you that we'll both follow their lead. We'll curl up on the couch and fall fast asleep. Even though tomorrow's just another day of the week. The light's going on because it's almost dark. I knew I'd run out of time. I knew I needed to start this video this morning, but I got caught up in getting organized around the house. I feel like we're living in chaos at the moment, so I was just trying to like get things a bit sorted, and I should know that I need longer than I think to do this. Alex present is finished. I've just added a label. Pop that under the tree to take over on Christmas day. Shall I reveal Delilah's Christmas present before she gets home? The big present is currently upstairs needed to be built. I bought her a doll's house because she really, really wants one. I spent most of the year actually looking for the right doll's house for her. I finally found one that I thought yes yeah, she's going to love and um the idea came to mind because she already has one of the mice toys that they do i don't know if i'm saying the brand properly malig melig malig malig i think it's malig but the brand that does all the the mice and the rabbits and they do like the, they do the big toys and the little miniature ones and they do the matchbox mice well i bought her one of those uh, on her first for a second Christmas, second Christmas, it was in her stocking and I said to her, oh, would you like a, a, a people doll's house or a mouse doll's house? She was like, oh, I'd like, Mousy needs a house, Mousy doll's house. So I got her the Malig one, which, I mean, mo most doll's houses are expensive, actually. I found the one that my mum bought me back when I was younger. They still do them and they look exactly the same. And that's about the same price as the Malik house. I found it on Truva. It was about £20 cheaper on Truva than it was on Scandibourne and any other places. I then also had a 15% discount because you can, when you sign up for Truva, you can get a link that you can share with friends. And I think I did that a while ago and that gave me 15% off. I'm looking forward to Christmas Eve. Snuggled up in here with the fire on watching Love Actually and building her doll's house. I can show you the bits that I got for the doll's house. So I've, I, I've been buying these add-ons for the house for the last few months. I got her quite a few things because I wanted her to be able to really play with it when she got it, but there are still lots of add-ons. There's a whole camping set of, um, of mice, which would be sweet. Oh my goodness, we have a 
tops. When I first got these items out, I thought, oh my goodness, have I got my measurements wrong? I measured that the house would perfectly fit in that corner by the door. And then I saw these items and they were huge and I thought, I bought a mahusive house, but actually somehow these items do fit in all the rooms. It has a cot with bedding. Let me bring you closer. This is the most exciting, well, this is the most exciting part of the video for me anyway, showing you all these fun toys. I don't know who this is for, me or Delilah really. So excited showing Doug all the bits of the house and he was like, yeah, I don't really, I don't really care. <laughs> He's more into the Lego. If I leave him and Delilah making Lego or trains, Delilah will leave the room and Doug will carry on building whatever he was building. She has a cot because I bought her the, mm, the two twin mice, which I thought was very fitting as Doug and Melissa are twins. So they come in these boxes. And the great thing about this is that if you just wanted to buy this as a gift, you can because they've already got their own little bed in their box to keep them safe and the twin mice will fit nicely in their bed there. For the babies, I also have, I can't, I can't, I can't handle this, this pram. How sweet is this? All the pieces that are part of the collection are so different to um, other doll's house stuff. I mean, I love wooden toys, but there's also something quite special and retro about them, them being metal and I love the prints on all the cushions. I've got a washing machine. Again, when I bought this I thought, this is really expensive. Why have I committed to this? Because I thought it was going to be about this big. But it's a full on washing machine. Door opens, pretend, pretend to wash their clothes in that. A mop and bucket. How stinking adorable is that? And I love that they're all quite big because then I, f I feel like it's more fun for me to play with. This ironing board, oh my goodness. And the iron, look. <laughs> A little suitcase so they can go on holiday and she can pack stuff up in there. What else have we got in here? We needed, oh, so the mummy and daddy mice are currently on their way. I bought the winter mum and dad on eBay. So I have the bed for them. Here. Again, how adorable is that? And then this, which is the box which can be used as the ovens. You can just stand it up like that. And here we have lots of mini saucepan, colander, whisk, <laughs> spoon, saucepan, and one of these thingies, whatever you call that. I'm obsessed with this stuff. My idea is that I'm not gonna wrap up the doll's house, I'll build it and then decide whether it's light enough to be able to hide away and bring it in for the big reveal in the morning or whether it's gonna be too heavy and I'll just have to keep it in the corner and pop a blanket over it. The table and chairs, because I thought, well, if she's gonna make stuff in the kitchen, they need somewhere to sit. Come to think about it, what I should have done is maybe not bought the washing machine and just done the kitchen stuff and the dining room stuff and then bought her the other, like the um, washing bits another time. So we have the table and it comes with little black chairs. With lots of bits which I'm not going to individually wrap. What I'm going to do is, I'll keep most of it in boxes, some of it out of boxes, and I'm just going to pop it in this box here and wrap the box itself and put it under the tree. The only things I won't put in the box will be the mice, so when I get the mummy and daddy mice, um, I'll wrap both of them and then she can have those individually. That's Delilah's Christmas present and I'm really excited about it. It's such a lovely collection and I hope it brings her lots of joy and hours of play in the future and she really loves it. I think she will love it. You know sometimes when children say they want something and then they forget about it. She's been going on about a doll's house all year, weekly. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't feeling a bit anxious about revealing Delilah's Christmas present because I just know it's quite a big gift. There are plenty of parents that would spend the same amount of money for just on loads of stuff but there are also plenty of parents that can barely afford to buy one gift and um, I just don't want to seem greedy or over the top. So um, I had been feeling a little bit 
um, iffy about talking about it. I'm gonna tidy all this stuff away because I'm not gonna have time to wrap it before Delilah gets home. So annoyed at myself for not, but this happened last year, didn't it? I didn't get a chance to finish wrapping. <laughs> How was your party? How was your party? Yeah. What's in there? Look. Whoa, what is that? Candle. A candle. Oh, but Dear Mum and Dad, Merry Christmas. Love to Lila. Had to send them in with a jam jar a while ago. And she's made us a little candle holder. Says Rihanna and Doug. Shall I open That's it? your Mummy and Daddy, yeah. isn't it? I thought you might quite like that. Like one. me. Grandma's present and Daddy's present and Uncle Ali's present. Oh, so they're not yours. I expect Mummy's hiding yours. How about me? <laughs> oh, darling. <laughs> darling, I've still got to wrap yours oh, up. Oh, no, you've got a present, darling. Darling, yes, you've got a present. Well. And Delilah, you've got the biggest present of them all, which is why I can't bring it down until Christmas morning. Best presents ever. I promise. I promise, darling. Oh, I'm so sick. Trust me, your present is even better than Uncle Ali's and Daddy's present. Yeah, and better than Grandma's. It just can't fit under the tree, because it's too big. And you, my lovely, have a big, big, big present. Big, big, big present. Stop trying to not smile. You're <laughs> pretending now. You're pretending, you're pretending. I think Daddy's home. You can have some tea. Oh, thank you. Tea. Been tea. having a tea party? Lila's had dinner and um, we'll be going to bed soon, won't we? Now dog's home, I need to go upstairs and start editing today's vlog. I'm admitting defeat. This is not going to happen. I just imported the footage and I have over two hours worth of footage and it's gone seven o'clock. Look at my plant babies on the windowsill. Oh look, you can even see my ivy in the window there. <laughs> look like a crazy plant lady. I have nowhere to put them yet, so they're just they're just staying there. Although I quite like them there. It's the first time this month that I've just had to um, admit defeat. It's not going to happen. Are you ready for a stalky? I saw an elf there. Oh, you saw an elf? Where did you get that? From your bedroom. From my office or my bedroom? Bedroom. Bedroom. <laughs> that one. Okay. I'm coming in. Coming in. Who taught you about bad choice, good choice? <laughs> Do you make lots of good choices or lots of bad choices? Good choices. Oh, that's good. Does that mean you're a good girl? Well, you will see these guys on Friday for your ballet. Yeah. Yeah. See, see you later. Dog's gone for a run and dinner's going to take an hour. He picked up a salmon gratin thingy. Some, I don't know, some sort of thing from Cook on his way home and um, it didn't realise it was going to take an hour. So just pop that in. Before I forget, I'm just putting the chocolate into the number. What's the day going to be tomorrow? It'll be the 19th tomorrow. Oh my goodness. So I put one in every night. I don't know if she can hear me. I put one in every night to save the hassle of constantly having to say no you can't have that most days she would be good about it i reckon but why why give myself the hassle of constantly having to keep an eye on her and um, because in the bottom one she can she can definitely now reach the lower um, parts of the advent i just say that every every night christmas magic fills her advent and it works for us i may as well make the most of having an evening not editing so i'm gonna light the fire i don't know why i'm showing you me making a fire you just pop the kindling in and uh, you just sort of make like a little a little tent you kind of build it a bit like jenga so, so once you've got them like that you then make your little teepee thing pop your fire lighter in Light 
like your inappropriately sized match. <laughs> Something so satisfying about lighting the fire. Honestly, this mm. wood burner, our floors and the Christmas tree are giving me all the cozy vibes and it makes me so happy. This one's back. Fire is roaring. Got the telly on, dinner's served. And I will see you for the second to last Christmas in a couple of days.